I wanted to talk about uh, two of our other sponsors, ArcAware, our gold sponsor, and uh, Watchman Monitoring. And this is something that's uh, close, uh, near and dear to my heart. Uh, with ArcAware being a backup software company, um, in my uh, day job, my paying day job, where I build storage for customers, I depend on backup systems. So all backup systems are good. And uh, one of the ones I use is ArcAware for tape backups. And uh, we build archives and backups. Um, so we have a lot of clients with a lot of storage, a lot of tape libraries. And then when I ran into Watchman monitoring, I said, this is an excellent dashboard system. And uh, we have you know, agents for Windows and Linux and, um, and Mac OS. We can see all the alerts, everything that we need to see in Watchman. And then I thought, well, Watchman does a great job of watching Carbon Copy Cloner, does a great job of watching Crash Plan or Backblaze or whatever you're using. So I thought, hey, I'm just a dumb ops guy, but I could write software to watch P5 Archive. So um, coming soon in 2016 will be the official version of the plugin that I've been working on with Wade. Thank you, Wade. All the good stuff about the plugin is thanks to Wade. All the bad stuff in the plugin is thanks to me. But uh, um, it's been an interesting uh, exercise. And I, I think um, if I can write plugins, then everyone can write plugins for Watchmen or for Central or for, you know, we can all write software. Uh, I think that's the, the, the point of this uh, conference, is to try and encourage everyone to, to get into the, the software writing game. And I, I, um, I will say that uh, Watchman has a lot of integrations, and now uh, the new FileMaker integration and uh, the P5 Archive and P5 um, integration is uh, the, new, um, the new one. So the way we did it was we had a private GitHub repo. So it's not open source, but it's using source control and version control on GitHub. So when I worked with uh, Scott Neal originally to work on this project, we started a GitHub repo, and we were working on the plugins. And then when Wade helped me continue the project, he could easily fork the repo, work on some changes, um, we could uh, merge them back in. And it's been a huge learning in, uh, enterprise for me, because I definitely consider myself on ops in the DevOps equation. But it's been a really fun exercise learning about working with uh, developers, how to explain problems to developers, how to explain to them what the ops person needs, um, being the, uh, the consultant that is troubleshooting um, backups and software, trying to figure out what is possible in your software, and then trying to explain it to your developer how to, how to write that. And then going back to the software companies like ArcAware, for example, and going, I need X and Y from your software. Can you write that in? Yes, no. How difficult is that? Um, um, so I mean, for Watchmen, it's really you can anyone can write a plugin to watch anything that you want. You can can run a you know your rsync script. It can watch anything you're you're doing. All you just need for Watchmen is to spit out certain error codes, and that's the the big big secret is. Certain error codes tell, tell you the software that nothing needs to happen. Some error codes say, send an email immediately. Some error codes say, just show a warning. So basically, the advantage for me was that for my backup clients, I have a, a dashboard I'm already watching in Watchmen. And for all my clients, I don't have to VPN in. Uh, my dashboard will show me or email me if there's a critical problem. So that's the advantage of Watchmen when you, when you uh, have it doing stuff. So in this case, here's an example of a, a device that needs cleaning. I had a lot of backup, uh, a lot of com a lot of clients there. I'd go and visit them, and their backups aren't running because they're not paying attention, and they're basically tape drives need cleaning. So this would warn them immediately um, and show up in the dashboard. One of the things we added was figuring out how uh, Watchmen would track the maintenance. This one we had to uh, go digging into the software a little bit, but now it, it'll automatically show your expiration of your software, and I could pull out all the um, the server information, all the licenses that are licensed, what port it's running on. And then basically, if a client has an issue now, I just look at my dashboard and I can see easily what ports they're using, what licenses they have, if I need to talk to the company. And um, so that's just a very quick talk about how ops can work with devs and make software. So uh, I hope that encourages everyone to go out and write plugins for Watchmen and all other software and use version control. <laughs>